Hello, welcome. In this video, we will introduce lists. The list interface is a sub interface under the collection. It is the root interface for all the list classes. A list stores elements in a sequential order and allows the user to specify where the element is stored. The user can access the elements by index. This is the uh, UML diagram for the list interface. It is a sub interface of the collection interface. In addition to all the methods in the collection interface, the list interface defines add an element into this index, add all and all the elements in collection C into this index in this collection, get index, index of, last index of, list iterator, list iterator with a starting index, remove an element at the given index and set a new element at this given index. Sublist from the study index and to the ending index. Now you look at all these methods defined in the list interface, you're gonna see the common theme is index. So this is the notion for the list is you can access and manipulate elements in a list using index. In the collection interface, there is no notion of index. Now the sub interface list added the operation on the index. The list iterator is a sub interface of the literator interface. In the list iterator, we add this now, um, add an element and it has previous, next index, previous, and previous index, and set the element at this given location. So the list iterator is a sub interface of iterator. We have two types of lists under the list interface. One is the array list and the other is the linked list. The array list class and linked list class are concrete implementation of the list interface. Which of the two classes you use depends on your specific needs. If you need to support the random access through an index without inserting or removing elements from any place other than the end, list, array list offers the most efficient collection. If, however, your application requires the insertion or deletion of elements from the beginning of the list, you should choose linked list. A list can grow or shrink dynamically. An array is fixed once it's created. If your application does not require insertion or deletion of elements, the most efficient data structure is the array. This is the array list class, constructors, and there's one additional method, trim to size. The array list 
in the future we'll know that is implemented using array. Array has the fixed size. It's also called a capacity. And the actual array list is the size is smaller, less than or equal to, and the, the capacity. So between the size and the capacity, there's some space. You can trim to the size. So trim the capacity to match the size of the array list. So this is trim to size. Link list, <coughs> add it several more methods. So look, we have this add first, add last, get first, get last, remove first, remove last. This is because link list is efficient for this kind of operations for add first, remove first. Now let's look at uh, an example of using array list and link list. This is to create an array list, add elements, add elements using the index. And this is to create a link list, add the elements using the index, remove the last element, add a first, and this is to use the list iterator and going forward through the sequence using the iterator and you can go backward. So get the iterator and the location is from the last one and then you go to previous, previous, previous all the way and to the very beginning. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next video.